Howdy, it's Tubal Kane again, and today I'm going to talk a little bit more about uh, some of my small steam engines, and today I'm going to feature one of my uh, homemade engines. I, this has probably been shown in one of my other videos, but I'm going to run it under live steam here today with a homemade boiler. And you notice that Tubal Kane Jr. is not here, and the reason for that is I'm sure the safety Nazis are going to have a field day with this, and I don't want to hear your criticism with a, a boy around, so uh, we are going to fire up this boiler here directly. It's a copper boiler I made some years ago and it's propane fired. So there's a little propane burner I made down in the firebox. The boiler itself is copper. And in one of my videos the other day we talked about uh, the chimneys and most of the chimneys are false chimneys or pseudo chimneys or faux chimneys in the model uh, toy steam engines which I've been talking a lot about but this is a real uh, chimney here and uh, the the gases are going up uh, inside the boiler this tube runs all the way down to the bottom and there's some little cross pipes there to, to pick up some of the heat too also in the bottom there is a uh, superheater I think is the, the the term because notice that the steam goes out this tube down into the firebox and then there's several coils of it and then it exits here so that that heats it after it uh, leaves the boiler so that we have what we call extra hot steam if that's the term I'm not sure now the boiler has a little pressure relief valve on it and actually that came out of a commercially made uh, uh, cooker pressure cooker and I have it set for 10 psi and I'll prove that in a few minutes and we do have or I do have a little uh, pressure gauge on the top way out of proportion it's right up there where the hot gases are coming to but anyway it works just fine and on the other side are the filler plugs right here for the water and we've got an on and off valve here for the steam no whistle now this little homemade engine here has about a 5 8 bore and, and about a 3 quarter inch throw. And I think I've shown that in my other videos. Uh, Everything is aluminum except for the flywheel which is uh, lead or a lead alloy. This is single acting, that is the steam is going to push the piston but it's not going to push it back to its original position. And it's a spool valve right in here not a sliding valve but a spool valve and this a uh, little engine really runs great uh, whether it be on air or steam or whatever you know very little friction so it's a uh, kind of a nice little engine and I think I've shown some of the patterns that I uh, use I can't made my own castings so what I'm going to do now is fire up the boiler then I'm going to set the propane can off to the side so that it can't pick up any other heat. And uh, that's going to take a few minutes to come up to steam. Okay, the boiler is fired up. It's still cold, so it's going to take a few minutes. Just wanted to show you the burner because that's probably the only view that I will give you of the burner. Now stay tuned after I run this engine because I'm going to run another engine and talk a little bit about that. So this is a two engine show today. Stand by. Here's a little sidebar. I don't have a sight gauge or a water gauge on this uh, boiler but using my trusty craftsman heat detector here I'm able to tell where the water level is. So down here near the bottom where the water is hot, we're at 195 degrees, almost 200 now. But as I raise this up into the area where we know there isn't water, it's just uh, steam developing, you know. We got about 125 degrees and then again down here much higher. So the water level is right about there. Someplace in there, probably not precise, but pretty close. And the pressure gauge is coming up. It's at about 8 degrees. 
and when it comes up high enough I'm going to let it blow off a couple times so you can see how that pressure relief valve works and really this engine runs fine at just three four or five pounds of uh, pressure it just doesn't take much at all but we're getting close to 10 and maybe I'll let the camera run here okay I got the pressure relief valve and the uh, gauge in the frame so watch the relief valve here blow off right at 10 now in order to get it to do that I had to uh, uh, make a new spring in there uh, or I, you know I kept cutting the spring off till I got the right length but there's the old spring that came with it probably a Presto brand and that brought her down to about uh, oh, we're back down to about three or four. Actually, with this steam uh, relief valve, I found that I have to tap it back into submission a little bit, and then the pressure will come up. And now we're just about ready to run the engine. And there she goes. There's an awful lot of condensation initially until the entire mass of uh, metal comes up to temperature, and that's what that water is all about. And we're running at about four pounds of pressure right now. And that valve is wide open. I think the B stands for Babcock, but I'm not sure. I'm just guessing. I and of course, that's going to be pretty hot. I'll slow it down by closing the B-valve. <coughs> now the pressure is going to come up again now, so it's about at 8 and that'll blow off. I like to watch the engines uh, at slower speed. I think it's more interesting because you can see the action. Pressure is coming up just a little bit. All the exhaust is coming out over on this side. That's the steam that you see. Nine pounds of pressure and a, the valve is at about half half position. I made this boiler uh, quite a while ago, perhaps 10, 15 years ago. I can of course adjust the flame a little bit lower as well to control the amount of steam. Okay, I'm going to stop it and uh, show you the other engine. Now here's the other engine. This is an interesting little engine. It was given, given to me by, by my brother Jan of Cody, Wyoming. And he bought it at a flea market some time ago and then said, uh, got tired of it and gave it to me. But uh, it didn't come on this fancy wooden base. It was just what you see out of metal. And I think at one time this probably was mounted directly onto a boiler. If anybody knows the make, let me know. Now, uh, it, it just got kicked around my basement for years and years. So uh, finally... But, about six months ago I made this fancy wooden base but the whole idea here is I'm going to make a wooden pattern eventually and cast it up so at least it's on a presentable base kinda of like the other one I just showed you this engine and I just had to tap and uh, install this uh, nipple in here or this barb nipple whatever you call that we got 7 16 bore It's reversible engine, which is unique, and the entire engine is made of lead. This is all lead, except for the shafts and the connecting rods and that. Uh, lead 
flywheel led down here. So it's very soft. I believe it had been dropped at one time because there appears to be a bit of a twist right here, just a couple degrees off of, of square. But it runs beautifully. And there is a reversing mechanism here which I'm not going to do a very good job of explaining, but right here on the eccentric, you see that little notch there, and then there's another one farther down, and a little pin, and when you rotate it one, time, one way, it times it for a certain direction, and go the other way, and uh, it'll change the direction. Notice here, when you watch this little eccentric here, that it doesn't turn right away until the pin catches up with it. That's the timing mechanism for the valve to reverse it. That is rather unique. I've never seen that before. And now I'll hook her up and we'll run it. And here it is under steam. And we've got about five pounds of pressure in the boiler and the throttle is about half open, the B valve. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but it makes a nice little chugging sound. Now I will stop it and then restart it in the opposite direction. And you can see that it instantly goes the other way or conversely that way. There's a little pulley on the other end so you could run little toys or generators or something off of it. It wouldn't have much power. I've turned my gas way down, so I'm only running about three pounds. It's only about two pounds with the valve half open, so it just doesn't take any amount of steam at all to run this thing. By the way, I do run distilled water in all of my toy boilers. Don't run city water in them, just not a good practice. Empty those boilers when you're done and dry them out. Now I have quite a few other videos on uh, toy steam engines and uh, building steam engines and so on, so do a search on my channel, Tubal Kane, Mr. Pete 222, for steam engines if you're interested in that type of thing. I also have several, actually a whole bunch, on Sterling engines, which I have also made, but I, uh, I've owned this for, uh, for years and have only run it on steam here the last uh, week or two. I opened the valve all the way but we're not I don't have much of a flame on my burner. Picking up speed. This is a single acting engine same as the other one that I have shown you. Single acting meaning that the uh, steam is pushing the, end, the uh, piston only from one end. And here it is from the other side. I just turned the burner up a little bit on the boiler so it's picking up speed. Remember this whole thing is made of lead which I thought was very unique. I know it's toxic along with that asbestos up in my boiler and the dangerous steam. That's why I don't have Tubal Cane Jr. here. Now you know out of uh, 300 million people in the US, only about three or four thousand have any interest in this. I'm going by the viewers that I get. Uh, boy, it's really picking up steam now. Very, very few views really on this type of, of topic for some reason. Just lost technology, I suppose. Let me know if you like this type of video, or I, I might not make any more because it just doesn't seem to be a lot of interest. But I've been interested in this type of thing ever since I was a boy, and my interest has not diminished. Matter of fact, it's increased. Hope you enjoyed this. This is a Tubal Cane signing out, saying so long for now. Subscribe to my channel.